So after uh, Like a Boss, I went and saw Underwater, a new horror movie that's obviously a fucking uh, sci-fi horror movie that's obviously a ripoff of Alien. Uh, I mean... I mean, you can fucking tell from the trailer, like, I mean, hell, the trailer pretty much copies the font of, or, like, basically the font reveal of Alien uh, in the trailer. Like, it's, like, it's not even hiding the fact it's an Alien ripoff, like, from the trailers. It's, like, oh, god damn, like, dude, you're just coming out and just flat out saying it, aren't you, man? Holy shit. Um, it didn't look bad. I was, like, all right, you know. I mean, there's been a lot of knockoffs of Alien over the years. A lot. I mean, every successful movie has always had a lot of knockoffs. There's always been knockoffs of a lot of successful movies. Some good, some bad. You know, it depends on how it's done. Um, I wasn't going in with high hope because, well, it's a January movie. Um, and so far, the track record of January isn't very fucking good this year. Uh, I only seen two movies <laughs> for this movie. I've only seen The Grudge and Like a Boss, and well, they're not very impressive fucking uh, movies. But hey, maybe this will be one of those like hidden gems, you know? I was like, eh, you know, whatever. Um, it, it had a decent cast, and it's. Um, I mean, it, it looked it looked like it'd be all right. Um, I mean, it looked like it'd be a decent sit, and. You know, just like fucking like a boss, I didn't care this, for this movie that much. I didn't. I really didn't. I wanted to like this movie more than I did, but I could not get into this movie whatsoever. Honestly, out of the two, I almost fell asleep for this movie. Uh, <coughs> almost fell asleep in this movie quite a few times, in this, especially in the middle half of this movie. Especially, And that's crazy, because there's a lot of action going on in this fucking scene, but I still... I, I couldn't get into this movie one bit. <coughs> God damn. Damn, sorry about that. So, if there's one reason why I couldn't get into this movie, uh, this best way to describe this fucking movie is, yes, it's an alien knockoff. It's an alien, you know, ripoff. Ripoff of an alien. But it's also kind of different somewhat in that... Imagine if you saw Alien, and imagine, you know, back in 1970, whatever the fuck it came, 1978, 1979, I don't know if I, I can't remember, uh, it came out, and instead of, like, having, like, a whole about hour of the movie building character, and having a very slow burn till the shit got re real and to the point that by that time you gave a shit about these characters and what happened to them. Imagine if instead the movie opened with a alien bursting through the guy at William Hurst's chest. That's what this movie's equivalent, equivalent is to. Because that scene you see in the trailer where all shit goes down with the Kristen Stewart's in the bathroom brushing her teeth and the ship go, goes all to hell and like explodes and stuff like that. There's you know, everything, all this wreckage and shit like that. That's the opening fucking scene of this movie. I'm not making that up. There's like no introductions whatsoever. You're just the introductions you're given are like clippings of like newspapers of that flash very quickly to the point you can't tell what what the hell was saying said on a lot of these uh, about this drill, even kind of like the background on this drill and this company and this drill that's drilling in the ocean, and that there's maybe some weird, mysterious creatures uh, around being found around this drill, and that's all you're given as far as exposition, and you're thrown right in where Chris Sturts just. Brushing her teeth, you don't know who the fuck she is. Other than that, it's Kristen Stewart, and she's giving this mon monotone voice in a monotone voice to only Kristen Stewart can't. I, I don't want to shit on Kristen Stewart, but thank God. Sometimes you're like, God damn, show some emotion, woman. <laughs> um, she is like, she got better as a movie went along, I'll say that. But uh, I'm like, God damn, just fucking show some personality. God damn. Um, Although, if I were in this movie, I probably wouldn't either. But, 
Uh, she, but she's giving us monologue. The, uh, sometimes it's hard to tell if it's day or night when you're underwater. It's hard to tell if you're awake or asleep or, or awake or dreaming or something like that. Yeah, it's some bullshit, you know, pretentious bullshit about being underwater and, uh, for so long and yada 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 and it's just and that's all you're given as far as like introduction to this character and then like I said all the shit starts going on with the uh, fucking <laughs> right away <laughs> right away with the ship exploding and shit like that and then that's how I, like you're just briefly start to be introduced here and there throughout the movie to all the different crew members of the fucking ship and like TJ Miller's TJ fucking Miller. Uh, I mean, he's TJ Miller in every fucking movie uh, where he's just a wise cracking goofball that everybody loves and just smirks and go, oh, that guy. Uh, that's basically his fucking character, right? Uh, ooh, geez, it's like, goddamn, like, after watching a, like a boss, I'm like, just shut the fuck up. Like, I like TJ Miller, but they're like, I just got through what. Uh, like a boss where they're improv half the fucking movie, and I'm just like, God damn it, shut the fuck up, T.J. Miller. Uh, for a lot of times, like, he isn't in all of this movie, I'll say that, that's a spoiler. Uh, he isn't in all of this movie, but he's in a good chunk of it. Uh, but, uh, you have Vincent Castle, who's the captain, uh, who has a daughter. That's all you're pretty much given as far as character, uh, of him. Uh, yeah, the one engineer is in love with the one other guy who I, I recognize. Who the fuck was that? I know I've seen him in something. But there was a couple actors like, I know I've seen those people in something. Let me look it up. Uh, I didn't even bother to look. I was like, just whatever. Uh, John Gallagher Jr., what the hell? <coughs> I know I've seen him in something. He was in the hush. Yeah, hush. Alright. Yeah, yeah. And Ted Cloverfield. Okay, yeah. Dude, he was that actor. He's really fucking good. He's a really. And he's this guy who's just your generic guy on this ship. And I don't even really know what the fuck his job was because I really. I don't think they ever said, but he's the love interest of the other girl, Asian girl, in the, in the movie. And they're having some kind of relationship, I guess. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much all their characters are given. Like I said, they're basically, like, I'm like, when shit starts going down and characters start dying, I really couldn't give a shit about any of these people. Especially, like, when characters die early on in this movie. I'm like, I was just introduced to these people. How am I supposed to care? Like, what the fuck? Like, like, why did you go that direction? Like, it felt like... There was like a half hour of this movie missing. It's only an hour and a half. Like, it's was a half hour of this movie cut, or like they introduced these characters and fleshed them out a little bit. Um, that's, I mean, that's a little bit of important, but whatever. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I guess I'm the only one who wants to see fleshed out characters. I mean, fucking Alien had fleshed out characters that you actually were. Uh, he followed through a majority of the movie before shit got real. Uh, I mean, like I said, it didn't just straight away have an alien burst out of John Hurt's chest. Uh, it took a while before that happened. Um, and then, like I said, what in the last half of that movie's fucking great I mean, when it gets to that point. Um, and it, you know, earned that. But this movie just goes right to it. <laughs> like, and then, like, there's also monsters out there. Um, and, uh, okay, this, well, I do say that this movie, all, this, this is going to be one of the weirdest things I've ever said in my entire life I, in a review, but when I also, when I say that this movie is a mixture, or is a, um, is a alien ripoff, which it is, it also is a South Park ripoff. I'm not making that up. I, I swear I, I, I'm not going insane when I say that, because... This is getting the spoilers, but fuck it. I, who, again, who cares? It's underwater. Do you really care if I... Spo it's not spoiled much about it, but... Towards the end of this movie... It's revealed that there's a giant monster version of these creatures. 
And I swear to God, it's Cthulhu. <laughs> I, I, they don't flat out say it's Cthulhu, but I swear to God, it's Cthulhu. And I'm like, so I put two and two together. It looks like fucking Cthulhu. And so I put two and two together. And I was like, wait a minute. Is this movie copying the fucking plot of the Coon trilogy from South Park? Where, like, BP drills into the ocean or think it was the moon or something like that. And they fucking uh, unleash Cthulhu upon the world. Remember that shit? That's literally the plot of this movie. They literally stole the plot of this movie from that South Park episode. Like... Tell me that's not Cthulhu. Like, I'm not, I can't be the only one who fought that while watching this. Like, is that Cthulhu? They don't lie out say it, but it looks like Cthulhu. Um, like I said, literally, all was missing was Cartman in a fucking raccoon outfit and fucking the, uh, the CEO of the company that's not Whalen Enterprise. Uh, might as well have been. Uh, who just said sorry, sorry? <laughs> like it's, that would have been I, that would have made the movie just fucking. I would have been like, you know what, Bravo movie. You know what? I, I, that was a weird choice to go for, but fuck it, why not? Um, I swear to God, it's Cthulhu. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what did it do? See, I got all worked up talking about Cthulhu. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't care for this. I didn't care for this movie one bit. I'm sorry. I I, I was giving this movie a chance, but I man, I was not a fan of it. Like, god damn this so far this January has been pretty bad. I mean, both movie all three movies that I've seen that came out this month this month and this year so far have just been generic nothing movies. And it's like, it's not even like they're offensively bad or anything. It's just, they're nothing movies. Uh, and yeah, fucking January. Uh, like, can we get one good movie? Like, next week is fucking Bad Boys and Doolittle, which I'm not having high hopes for either one of those. Uh, maybe Bad Boys will be all right. Um, trailers. Only one new trailer. I don't believe that this movie is coming out. The New Mutants. Uh, I don't know how many people on here know about the, this movie or the history of this fucking movie. This movie, okay, New Mutants is a movie that was supposed to come out, I swear to fucking God, like three or four years ago. Like, I got a trailer, there was a trailer out, I saw a trailer for this movie back in like 20 fucking 16. 2016 or 2017, at least. 2017 at least. Uh, this movie has been in developmental hell. It's like been finished for fucking ever. And it's been going under reshoots to the point that, like, there was a point where no one know, knew if this movie was ever going to come out. And, like, it kept being pushed back and back and back for, like, three or four years. And now it's saying it's coming out April 3rd. I'm like, fuck you, I guarantee you it's probably not. Like, and also at the same time, you're like, Oh, man, this is going to be the last X-Men, Fox X-Men movie, isn't it? That's going to fucking suck. Um, this is going to be the last of Legacy. Yeah, it's either this or fucking Dark Phoenix, but I probably, I don't know which I would have rather had. Dark Phoenix sucked. But, and, like, the idea behind this movie is pretty cool. It's got, like, Anna Taylor-Joy and people like Anna Taylor-Joy, and I think the director of Faulkner Stars is directing this. And it's, like, about, like, uh, a hospital for, like, mutants to try to fix them and shit like that. It looks really fun. And it's playing, like, a fucking remake of the Pink Floyd's The Wall. It's so dumb. But, uh, yeah. I don't know. Remember, like, wasn't John Hamm at one point supposed to be Mr. Sinister? But that isn't happening. Uh, this movie has had so much... I'm... I want to see this movie to see the final product and see how much of a mess this movie is going to be. I, I am fucking curious. Oh, yeah, I want to see it just to see how much of a mess this movie is going to be. Because this movie has, I, I guarantee it's going to be an incoherent mess. It's going to be like Fantastic Four or like bad. Uh, it could be. Uh, man, I don't know. Maybe, like, I'd be surprised. I'm still, I, I, even though it says April 3rd, I guarantee you. 
some way, somehow, they're going to end up pushing the date back again. I fucking guarantee it. Calling it right now. If it comes out, fuck it. I'll be surprised. Um, but yeah, that's as far as trailers. Uh... Oh, yeah. I still gotta go see 1917 and Just Mercy, so I'll probably try to see it tomorrow or the next day here and there. Um, but until then, I'll talk to you guys later.